first lesson is from the 35th chapter of Isaiah. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, Be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. The second lesson is from the second chapter of the epistle to James. My brothers and sisters, do you, with your acts of favoritism, really believe in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ? For if a person with gold rings and in fine clothes comes into your assembly, and if a person, a poor person, in dirty clothes also comes in, and if you take notice of the one wearing the fine clothes and say, have a seat here, please, while to the one who is poor you say, stand there, or sit at my feet, have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters. Has not God chosen the poor in the world to be rich in faith and to be heirs of the kingdom that he has promised to those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but do not have works? Can faith save you? If a brother or sister is naked and lacks daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm, and eat your fill, and yet you do not supply their bodily needs, what is the good of that? So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God.
Good morning, good morning. Come on up. Good to see you both. Good morning. Come on up. Good to see you. And, and who do you have with you today? Oh, very nice. Very nice. Are you kind of bring her along for Sunday school too? Yeah? Yeah. Well, today, oh, come on up if you'd like to. Today, uh, good morning. Good morning. We're having children's time if your kids would like to come up. You can sit over there. Today is kind of a special day. It's kind of going back to school day here at church. How many of you have started uh, going to school in your classes here in the church? Have you started school this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. good, good. And what are you kind of, um, at school, at school, what are you kind of looking forward to learning this year? What do you think you're going to be learning about in school this year? Any idea? Any idea what you're going to be studying? Anything like that? You're going to be doing some math, you're going to be studying some basic math, yeah. Maybe some uh, some writing skills, and maybe reading some good books, maybe. And, and uh, how about out on the playground? What do you like to do when it's when it's recess? What is, what's what's fun to do with the kids at recess? Do you like recess? Do you like recess? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you play some uh, play some games with the other kids or run races? Or anything? So school is the whole time where we go and we learn about things and God helps us to grow. And here at church, uh, when school starts outside, school starts here inside too. We have Sunday school and starting here. It's a time for us to learn about God, how much, how much God loves us, how much God cares for us. It's a time to learn about how we can live as God's people. We learn about Jesus and what Jesus teaches us to do. So it's just a good time to start out a new year of learning, and I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here today, because we start learning together. It's a really wonderful thing. So thank you very much. You can sit down. 